The European Rugby Champions Cup final is a date worth putting in any rugby fan's notebook as a must not miss. After all the battling throughout the season, only two teams remain. And it is one from England and one from Ireland. It's the big dance, it's the grand final. And today we find out who will be crowned the Heineken Champions Cup winner between Saracens and Leinster. Hello everyone and welcome on to Cornflakes Group, your home of Rugby Challenge 3 and this one-off special little matchup. It's not little, is it? It's a big one. It's the biggest of all. It is the decider on who will be European champions for 2019. Saracens have done this twice before and the two-time champions are looking to crown themselves for a third time. To get here, they had to beat some very, very good sides and power their way through the group stage as well. Undefeated up to this point and in their quarterfinals it was the Glasgow Warriors who suffered the wrath of Saracens going down 56-27 before it was Munster in the semi-final. Similar scoreline 32-16, no chance as Saracens funded their way through to the grand final. This is as good as it gets for Saracens. A very good lineup, star started throughout. Look at the pack, look at the back line. You cannot pick holes in this scene. There is talent everywhere, and this side has won shown many times how capable they are and how capable this team can be on their day. Notable players you look out for any side with both footy pullers in there. George and Hooker, Skelton and Cruz in the middle. It's all international caps. I told you, Ray and footy puller, of course, at number eight. Owen Farrell will direct things with the experienced captain, Brad Barrett, at inside centre. Experience on the wings too. Maitland Williams and, of course, Alex Good has been in fine form in 2019 and will look to cap this European season off with another win and a trophy in the bag for Saracens. And with the task to stop them will be Leinster from Ireland. Now, much like we talked about with Saracens just before, this Leinster side is star-studded, stacked with international caps with Ireland national side. It is an extremely good side, and none more so than saying they are four-time European champions already going for an unprecedented fifth title if they win here tonight against Saracens. They had a good run through this group stage as well, suffering one more loss and they got good revenge against Toulouse in the semi-final. But it was a big win there, 30 points to 12, that got them ultimately to this point. Ulster were the other team to suffer to the hands of Leinster, 21-18, a close one. The Leinster side have been trying their luck throughout the competition, but luck favours no man when you get to the big finals like this side. The team we've spoken about already, plenty of experience, plenty of ability. It is pretty much Ireland in blue. Healy, Cronin, Farlong, very experienced front row. Tona, Ryan, Fardy, the Australian, one exception, of course. O'Brien will be an open side. Conan at number eight. Into the back line, McGraw will get the nod at number nine. He'll partner Johnny Sexton at fly half. It is Robbie Henshaw and Gary Ringrose in the middle at centre. On the left wing will be James Lowe, another outsider from New Zealand, of course, one of the best imported players you could possibly hope for. And then on the right wing is Jordan Lamar, and then in the back, the ever experienced and ever explosive Rob Carney for Leinster, looking for five. How about that? Domination from the Irish side. So we are all set to get the game underway, and it's Leinster in the blue as you're looking at now, and it will be the Saracens playing in a bit of a strange kit for them, and it's the red. We are good to go. Saracens will be receiving. Jonathan Sexton gets it underway. The European Champions Cup final is now underway, and the kickoff is received from Jackson Ray, and he takes it down for Saracens. And looks short side, Funny Pullis says, I want none of that, and they quickly change it to the left to the knock on. From the tight head prop, Limo Satili, and it starts now for Leinster as they break away through Conan. Leave my corner and short Conan back to Sexton, dumping through one. He's just a metre short. Great start from Leinster. They are just five metres out. O'Brien in the pick and go, he's driven backwards. Saracens pile in, try to put pressure on. It sits and waits for Tona, fires it wide. Chance now as they come back in for Healy. And Ken Healy takes it to ground. Left side of the sticks now, six metres short. And see it for McGrath. Goes through Sexton and puts a little grubber. And that is a wasted chance. As diving on it, Ben Spencer defuses that attack. And old Farrell will have the chance and the opportunity to 
clear this from his own line and he goes rather surprisingly short. It's easily claimed there by Leinster and Fardy fires it wide before getting it back from Sexton. Release. And just short or just over. The big advertising hoarding on the field before they go out to the right hand side and it's numbers down here if they want to use them. Ringrose does well. Release. But the Saracens defence is more than equal to the task at the moment. Now it's fine room for Tony down the right hand wing. He's just support there from Lamar. And a step and the dummy from Jordan Lamar. And the opening try will go to Leinster. Not much on. Not much happening down that right hand side. Devin Toner did very well when he found the explosive Jordan Lamar. And he put the finishing touches on a somewhat innocuous little move. Excellent work, speed, acceleration, agility, and guile. You can wish for all those things if you want to wear 11 or 14, but few players have got in spades like this young man. Brilliant work on the right wing. And Leinster get the start that they were hoping for as they look for number five. And they have started off the better of the two, leading 5-0. The kick to come from fly half Jonathan Sexton. Way out on the right, they won't mind. It tries to try, it's looking at the upright. Sexton just shivers it inside. And a successful kick, the record books will say it's over. And that is all that matters. Almost a quarter of an hour gone, and Holm Farrell is back to halfway. Strong breeze in his back, how do they want to use it? Saracens in. Got to get points now, they can't just play the defensive game. Deep kick this time. Let's feel it down there from Healy. He pops it back to Ryan, and they look on the left hand side now. It's another chance to James Lowe. Finding Tony back and fell for Jonathan Sexton. And the fly half will go 50 to score the second try for Leinster. James Lowe started it down the left. And once again, that man, Devin Toner, fantastic work to find support on the inside. Who saw this coming from Leinster? No one in a red jumper, you can guarantee that. What's a performance so far? Jonathan Sexton adds five more, pretty much one phase on from the kickoff. Excellent work, blitzing it down the left hand wing this time. Knowing the support, knowing the numbers they have, and Saracens just could not keep tact with how that was playing out. Well, seven points already to his name, Sexton. He'll be looking for another two. So we don't even took over 20 minutes. We're even halfway through the first half. Yet it is Leinster, who have a great lead so far. 14-0 over Saracens. So not what Owen Farrell had in mind, that's for certain. Kicking off twice after conceding inside 20 minutes and having no shots to go himself. It is far from the perfect cue for the English fly half at the moment. It's Leinster charging again. A bad pass. It's picked up from Saracens. And a well-played move too from Lemma Satili. As now, here they come. Down the right-hand side. Liam Williams. Look at the step in. Williams is just short. So close. It's got to be a chance now. Saracens have to score here. There's no other option. Charles Cruz going to the line. Cruz will score. Saracens are back. And this one is far from done. Saracens fight back. A mistake by Leinster. And that little opening of the door is all that they need. Cruz was going for the breakdown. He got told, no, go back. Hit this one up. And it was a little pass from Jamie George who was playing scrum half. That set it up beautifully. Look at that demanding play from George. Here you go, Georgie. Have some of that. And he carries over a valiant attempt from the last try scorer, Jonathan Sexton. But not good enough to stop the tall timber of the Saracens' second row. Well, we just talked about this fellow and how he's... Uh, Missing out on taking shots at goal. He's only kicking off, but this will really change his tune. His att first attempt at goal, 24 minutes into the game. He's out on the right-hand side, and he hits it nicely. He curls in. Wind at his back. All under control from Owen Farrell. It's 47. Saracens are back in the game. 
Well, Leinster still hold that nice little lead. Now Sexton's got a job to do to put his side back in the commanding seat as he gets back underway. A, a City team kick that holds up nicely in the wind. And Jackson Ray goes for a little run all by himself. Nice. We're finding plenty of opposition there on the right-hand side. It's back for Grant Barrett and the captain. And the number 12 jumper hits this one long and deep down to Rob Carney. He's running it back and he runs straight into Barrett. Great chase there nice. from the kicker. Great determination as well as Healy. Pops it off, O'Brien involved as well. Now Sexton takes a tackle. Police. And Saracens just want the ball. Here's O'Brien having another go. He's picked up. Almost over vertical there from Cruz. Got to be careful of those tackles. Short side, James Lowe. Trying to find a way through there as Lowe. Leinster again. Pack it up on the 10 minute line. Good run there. Getting a lot of room for McGrath. He gets it up to halfway. Here is O'Brien once more. And a forward pass. A forward pass from Leinster. Furlong is the one shaking his head in disbelief. But I, I don't believe he was the one to throw it. Well, none of them really looked forward. That first Crouch. one possibly by O'Brien. Now the referee. Set. Putting it straight down on tight Furlong. A bit harsh as the scrum packs down and and it goes from Spencer. What's this pack got from Saracens? Do they have the muscle? Do they have the grit? No, it's a pretty stalemate sort of scrum and Billy Billy Buller comes away with it off the back. And they set it up right on halfway to the right-hand side. It's a pick and go from Saracens. Funny Will Skelton! Skelton slides through! Looking for support on his left side! Can't find it! Takes down to defenders though. Strong run there from Skelton. Quick ball is what they need. They get it away. It's Maitland. Back to Farrell. Farrell tries to go alone. He's isolated. He's in trouble. And the red jerseys get there just in the time. Here's another little play to Cruz. Trying to get on the outside. Release. He can't do it there. Barrett to Ray. And Ray goes a bit sideways. A good tackle from his opposite number. Sean O'Brien dragging him down. So now sits. 35 minutes out, George Farrell. Oh, Farrell throws it out to him. It's Jose. Oh, a high tackle. High tackle on Maro Atolje. And it looks like we could be looking for trouble here. As we're going to first change the match as well. Sexton's to the bin. And Haley is off. McGraw is on. And we're going to change the loose head. And the yellow card. It's all going on. And the Saracens have opted very quickly to take a shot at goal. Have a bit of all that. Substitutes, cards, and shots at goal. It's all happening here in the big one. The European Rugby Champions Cup final. And it's another three points for Owen Farrell. And that is just what Saracens needed as they head to halftime. 14-10 the score. This one is well and truly wide open. The penalty, definitely a big, big feather in the cap of Saracens as they head to the sheds. Well, an exciting matchup at half time. You look at the stats and you say, really, Saracens should be having no part of this match, let alone being in it at all. Look at that position at the top there by Leinster. 70% to just 30. That is a travesty to only have a lead of four points with all that on your side. Territory's pretty close, however, and the handling errors both sides having a couple of little niggles there. Three on each way. Six has spent 10 minutes in the bin. We'll see him pretty much straight after half time. The yellow card resulting in three points to the Saracens. But apart from that, it's been a pretty clean little game. The scrum battle has been pretty, well, even, you have to say, so far in the matchup. Inside's mean, so really got too much over the other. And of course, line breaks. Leinster, two tries, three line breaks for Saracens, the better of the two. One from one, one try, one line break. If they get a few more in a second, they could be odds on to get themselves right back in this one and even take the lead. Leinster, they need to get up, they need to score next. They want to keep this lead intact. Saracens are chasing, and they're chasing hard, looking for number three of European Championships. Well, you've got to admit, it would be very nice to have something sponsored by someone like Heineken. Lucky enough for European rugby, it is the Champions Cup. And we are set to go for the second half. As Owen Farrell, the red of Saracens, gets us back underway with a very high kick. And across.
great take as well. As here goes McGrath on the field. He is at 23. Believe it or not, James O trotting away from Alex Scott. But a great tackle by the South's fullback. And George over the top. He's turned it over. And Maitland striking through the middle. Eventually takes the time to put a kick away. And back there is Rob Carney, who's taken first line of defence. Leicester now have a good way to go. O'Brien pops it back in, and again it's McGrath doing the nice. hard work. More there for Cronin. As he tries a little short side play, almost gets himself in trouble. Leicester trying to turn it down a bit. That is another four pass. I thought he was in touch, but he somehow delivered it out. And either which way you look at it, it's a set piece for Saracens, whether it be a line out or whether it be a scrum. Referee opting Crouch. for the scrum Fine. to be fed for the four pass. Set. And Ben Spencer will feed. Now, second scrum of the game, and that is more like it from Saracens. They get dominating forward, and Fully Puller goes a bit sideways before he finds support to his right as the forwards come off the side of the ruck, side of the scrum, and set it up now. Fully Puller has another go. Oh, great off front of Farrell. Lazowski in the field as well. He's got a chance for you to feed it to Williams, but the ball is pretty average. And nothing Liam Williams can do about that. A real chance for Lozowski. As now they look to the left-hand side. Will Skelton trying to force his way through. The power game of the Australian. Loses the ball. And another forward pass. Oh, it's absolute pandemonium at the moment for Leinster. Who are doing themselves no favours in staying in this game. Then it's the third forward pass. One before halftime. A bit two after. And this is a golden Golden chance now for Saracens to score. Scrum feed on the 22. Spins the weights through at the back. Will he pull us there? Is he going to run? Or will they pass this one? The running game has been where they've gone, and again, it's Will Puller who goes with it once more. Good tackle, though, by Sean O'Brien. Striking straight off the side of that scrum. Spencer picks, and he goes away to Barrett, who tries to... Step his way through a couple of defenders, and now he's given away a full pass as well. His advantage is quickly taken up. He's got to run away from Ryan. Ryan's got support there. It's big number eight, Conan. He's throwing dummies all over the place. Saracens wait. Saracens defend out wide. It's a chance through the middle, and a desperate one as well. Conan finally getting involved. They're just 15 meters out now, Leicester. They come out to the right hand side. Conan goes to the contact. And waiting right there, another chance for Conan if he wants it. No, it's picked up from Lamar, who goes back to McGrath inside. And a trundling run from Tona looks for more support towards the sticks. Slow ball coming back this time. McGrath out to the right hand side as Ring Rose can't get away. And Lazowski has turned it over once more. But he's knocked it on. Looking to play the tight game with Sean Maitland. And it has not come off. Saracens do so well to defend that in their 22. Ouch. Fine. And they do nothing. Get the ball back just outside it. Once again, Luke McGrath feeds. It's a twisting scrum here. The referee's got to watch this. It's gone a long way sideways, really cutting off the angle for Leinster. They give it away to Sexton, who gives it to a flat foot of Ringrose. Now wide. Cuts it back in from low. Oh, Farrell's turned it over. Intercepted and turned over straight back. And now there's James Lowe on the left hand side. Pick and go from McGrath who pops it back nicely to Sean O'Brien. Slow ball this time for Leicester. McGrath cuts it back in nicely. Tied for a long, having a bit of a rumble. 25 minutes out our Leinster. Can they put one to put this to bed? The offload game is coming strong as Gary Ringrose. That's another run close to the 22. You can go from McGrath. Look, McGrath, close to the sideline as the scrum half. And Saracen still can't find the ball on this side. Cronin away to Robbie Henshaw. And Henshaw sets it up again. They're keeping it time left hand side. There's another run from Cronin. And he is put down and turned over. Spence against it. The way to Farrell. Farrell running all by himself. Looking for support. Goes back to Lodolski. The way to Ray. Ray turning down the left hand side. Sean Maitland knocks on. Oh my goodness me. It was all about to explode. And then the mistake comes from Saracens again. Now leads to turn it. And they've got Toner taking it up. Can they go 60 to score? Lamar does well back into Cronin. Release. And the referee deems no advantage there for Leinster. 
We will go back to the knock on. Right, Sean Maitland has got more changes coming on here for the Lens to sign, mainly in the pack. We have Kona Crouch. coming off as well as McGrath coming off as well. So the substitute has been substituted. Set. Never before have I seen that in my life. Bizarre going on to the moment by Leinster. Trying for fresh legs, only on the loose end side though. They've got a scrum feed and it's there now. And away from McGrath, right on halfway. Right from Henshaw and it's decided James Lowe wants to kick this away. 79 minutes gone, he's trying to wind down the clock, he's done all right. It's got a dead and goal here, but they'll go back for the scrum. But time will certainly will be almost up. 10 seconds. No seconds. It is all over. Time is up. This is the last play. The last roll of the dice. Do Saracens have something up their sleeve? What have they got? 14 10. Half time score remains. Now Spencer goes short side, looks wide for Liam Williams who cuts it behind them and he's got a little away with it as well. But they easily shut that down, narrowing them towards the 22. Now it's there for Atolze. He's waiting. He's given it away to George. George, the flat ball of Barrett! Brad Barrett! Flat, fast, straight through! The captain, the veteran! He's done it for Saracens! And they will be crowned European Champions Cup winners! What a time to deliver a play like that! And Tolce waited. Watch this from Jamie George. Bang! Flat! Oh, what a miracle ball! Barrett got it in Spain, and away he goes. What a time to score! What a position to be in! And the captain of all people hit this perfectly. In a match where we've seen three or four forward passes called, that one is the one. That will hurt Lynch to the most. Was it forward? Was it flat? The referee says it's okay. And old Farrell will have the joyous of most joyous tasks to kick over an unrequired conversion with time up. The lead on his side. Owen Farrell, enjoy it, son. You will be part of a three-time champion cup. That is over, and the score is all with Saracens. 17-14, they will be your European Rugby Champions Cup winners for 2019. Well, crack open the Heineken's because that's whose name's on the trophy. Heineken Champions Cup Saracens 2019. Look at the celebrations. They're absolutely ecstatic. It looked like it was all doom and gloom. It looked like it was all over when 80 minutes went. It was a scrum to back down. One phase went to Liam Williams down the right. And then the pass that Miracles are made of from Hooker, Jamie George, to find his captain, Brad Barrett. That is marvellous stuff. That is iconic, legendary. That is what people will remember of the 2019 Champions Cup final. That is where it all finished up. European champions will be Saracen 17-14 over Leinster. And that is their third title now. Leinster will go home defeated. And still though, with four titles on their side, there's nothing to frown at. Two tries apiece. One for Cruz, George Cruz and Brad Barrett picking them up for Saracens. Jonathan Sexton and Jordan Lamar for Leinster. Farrell and Sexton, both two out of two conversions, but it was a penalty goal after halftime to Old Farrell that ultimately proved to be the difference between these two sides. On to the stats, and well, we've seen it was one-sided at halftime. Leinster really did preserve that very, very well, keeping it up to 64% to Saracens, just 36 Territory, on the other hand, a little bit different. Saracens did get a little bit back their way there and actually tipped it over the 50 to 53-47. Line breaks, well, well, well. It was, what, 3-1 to one at halftime? Leinster, two tries, three line breaks. They were loving life. Things were going very, very well for them. Well, second half, it all changed around, didn't it? Seven line breaks to five, but still, they only managed the two first half tries. That is another four line breaks where they didn't convert to any points. Saracens, on the other hand, they made another four as well, but they actually scored a pretty, well, 
some may say important try. It was about as important as you can get in a rugby season. Saracens were full of kicking as well. You see on the stats, 10-6. to 6, They were happy to play the territory game when it mattered. And that gave Leinster a lot of possession. But ultimately, end of the day, they will be the ones coming home with the trophy. Saracens defeat Leinster 17-14 in an action-packed, entertaining, fantastic grand final night here with the Saracens. There we go, winning the big trophy. That is it for me today. Thank you everyone for tuning in and watching. This is going to be a European Rugby Week here on the channel. We're going to have, of course, the European final we've got tonight. Then we're going to have the Pro 14 and, of course, the Gallagher Premiership finals coming up on the channel this in the next week or so should be as well as they're all wrapping up about the same time. So thank you everyone for tuning in and watching. Hope you enjoyed this little matchup. And all you Saracens fans out there, congratulations and well done. I'll see you again very soon. We're we'll more rugby coming from the pitch. Until then, thanks for watching. And of course, take care.